Thank you. Reince Priebus, chairman of the Republican National Committee, will join the Trump administration, as we just mentioned, as chief of staff. Mr. Priebus, good morning. Congratulations. Good morning. Oh, hey, thank you. Very, very nice of you to have me on. You, you were on our program on our set Wednesday morning after Donald <laughs> yeah. Trump won the election. You said you hadn't talked to Trump about a position in his administration. You hadn't even thought about it. So this came together rather quickly. Did you have any reservations about accepting this position? No, none at all. I mean, other than making sure that it was good with my wife and the kids and, and, and getting that piece of my life straight. Um, we've had a great partnership, and I've learned to get to know President-elect Trump and Steve Bannon and the whole team. And, you know, I, I, it has worked, and it has been a great partnership. And uh, he really wants everyone to understand out there that he wants to be a president for everyone. Right. No matter your, your background, your race, your gender, your faith. Um, he wants to do well for every American across the board, but and that's to some, what our goal is. Mr. Priebus, to some you're an odd choice for chief of staff because they've been watching this campaign over the last year or year and a half. They've heard Donald Trump say, we want to bring change to Washington. We want to drain the swamp. We're going counter to the establishment. You are the establishment. You're the ultimate insider and deal maker. Why are you the right fit for this job? Well, first of all, it's, it's about an advisory role, it's an operations role, but also I was elected by the grassroots members of our party across the country. I get elected by the people that are making the phone calls and putting up the yard signs and the people doing the work. So, you know, I'm a guy from Kenosha, Wisconsin, who was elected through that process. Um, but secondly, I would just tell everyone that the reason we had an electoral landslide in this country is that Donald Trump was able to bring pieces of our party together. It was the reason why he did as well as he did was that he appealed to people like me. He appealed to people uh, and, and all respects of our party. Um, and so that it takes a talent and an ability that President-elect Trump had, but it was his message and the delivery that created that uh, incredible night. Can we talk about Steve Bannon? In some ways, he's the flip side of the coin here, okay? And a lot of people okay. are concerned because they look at the website he ran, Breitbart News. As one paper put it, it recently accused President Obama of, quote, importing more hating Muslims, called Bill Crystal a renegade Jew, advised female victims of online harassment to just log off and stop screwing up the internet for men. I, I guess people are wondering, is this the worldview that Steve Bannon will bring to the White House? Can you let them uh, know anything about him that would be contrary to the website he ran? Sure. And, and, and that wasn't his writing. I mean, that was, uh, that was some articles in Breitbart. It wasn't him. Okay, but, let me but just he, tell was, you about he him, was ahead of it. The buck stops The guy him, right? I know. Okay, yeah. the, the, the guy I know is a guy that isn't any of those things. I mean, the, the guy I know is a guy sitting in an office all day yesterday uh, talking about uh, hiring, talking about people, and in the last few months, as a guy that exhibited none of those qualities. Here's a guy who's Harvard Business School. He was a 10-year naval officer, uh, London School of Economics, I believe. Um, he, has, he is a guy who is pretty, he's very, very smart, um, very temperate, and together we've been able to manage uh, a lot of the decision making in regard to the campaign along with Kellyanne and it's worked very very well and if you watch that 60 minutes interview last night you saw a president ready to be president for every American so that in 20 years people are going to look back at President Trump and say this guy did every single thing he said and he led this country with honor and dignity that's the Donald Trump that people are going to well, be talking about let in me just years. follow it this way in the West Wing will you or Stephen Bannon have more power and influence in shaping Donald Trump's agenda and policies well I think it's a different role I mean the chief of staff is generally responsible for the day-to-day -day operations of the White House but in regard to advising the president um, I think if people understand President Trump, he likes taking opinions from a lot of different people. He's not a person that just listens to one person and does whatever that one person says. He decides. So in advising the president, I would suspect that me, Steve Bannon, I think Jared Kirshner, obviously his son-in-law is going to be very involved in decision-making. So that's the kind of president Donald Trump is going to be. And I think you're going to find 
uh, that in a few months, as people see the agenda roll out in the first 28 days, in the first 100 days, right. that he's going to be a president for all Americans, and he's going to make you proud. Right, Priebus. Again, congratulations. You bet. Talk to you soon. Thanks. Thank you. Well, what is next?